Hi, I'm Chris Husted from Review Your Gear. Today I'm going to show you how to make walleye rigs. Uh, if you go on the market or if you go in any bait shop, you're going to see plenty of pre-tied rigs in the Midwest. I'm going to show you how to make your own. So it uh, basically starts with having the right components. First, the fishing line. I'm using a green fishing line for this. I use Berkley XT. Uh, trialine that's all I use for mine in 10 pound test I typically use well I always use clear line but for this example I'm just going to use green make it a little easier to see the knot from there I'm using my hooks you got beads and I'm going to attach a blade uh, and then tie the loop at the top so to make this rig it essentially com uh, comes into two different knots if you know how to make a snell knot and an overhand knot, you're, you're in luck and you're going to know how to make your own rigs with these. If not, just follow along and I'll show you how I make mine. So to make a snell hook, and I'm using a two hook system, uh, I'm going to be fishing with night crawlers. So to start with this, you take your line and run it down the hook. And then you want to pinch it. You pinch it on the hook. And then from there, you just take the line and you loop it going down the hook three, four, five, six, seven times. Pinch that line at the bottom and then run the top of your fishing line or your leader back through the top of the hook. So when that tightens up, you should have a perfectly tied snell knot at the bottom. To add a second hook, it's essentially the same knot. All I'm gonna do this time is go to the top of my line. I'm gonna slide the hook going down the line until you get it a couple inches, we'll say, from the next hook. Now, I like to use big rigs, big crawlers, and with that being said, I like to have a good couple inches in between my hooks. So find the length you want. Again, you're gonna pinch the line and again, you're gonna run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times down the loop. Pinch the line and then pull it back through the top of the hook again. And there you have a double, double snell knot system. Now this is a very good knot. I really don't recommend for rigs using any other knot than the snell knot. It's just very strong and it, the way it pulls, it's not pulling on the knot itself. So from there, you simply add whatever beads, floats, and blades, or however you want to do it. For this standard rig, I like to use five beads and an Indiana blade on this one. So you typically want to use enough beads so the bottom of the blade is right around the top of the top hook. You don't want it to be, you know, use a big, like a number four willow leaf blade, for example, and only three or four beads because you're, uh, it's going to be falling all over the place. Well, I dropped a bead, but that's all right. Point of the matter is you get your beads and I'm going to put my spinner blade on there. And I'm using a quick change clip, the white, so that way I can interchange my blades if I want to. And there's my rig. I have a nice two blade crawler walleye rig at the bottom. Now all I need to do is tie an overhand knot at the top. I typically make my rigs about three feet in length uh, to each their own. Some people go very long, some people go a little smaller. I like to be about three feet. And to tie the overhand knot, you simply double wrap the line at the top and then make a loop and run the top back through that loop like so. I'm going to wet my knot. And just like that. So it's a nice tight overhand knot at the top. 
grab my scissors I'll clip a little excess here I'll clip a little excess at the bottom on the second hook and there you have it two snell knot rig system and an overhand knot loop so you can quick attach it to a bottom bouncer or whatever weight you're using I'm Chris Houston and that's your review gear tip of the week